Hello, my name is Alejandro Datas, and I will present the thermionic enhanced near field thermophotovoltaic concept. A typical problem of thermophotovoltaic energy conversion is the trade off existing between conversion efficiency and power density. And this is illustrated in this graph where thermophotovoltaics is compared against thermoelectric generators. And we see how thermophotovoltaics produces much lower power densities than thermoelectrics, even operating at much higher temperatures. The reason for that is that thermophotovoltaics relies on the emission of photons that requires very high temperatures in order to reach very high power densities. And on top of that, thermophotovoltaics increases the efficiency by turning back to the meter those photons that cannot produce electron hole pairs in the photovoltaic cell, and therefore the energy transfer is even lower. This is not the case in the thermoelectric generators where there is a solid continuity between the hot side and the cold side of the cell that enables a much higher flux of electrons. In order to increase the power density of thermophotovoltaics, a solution is what is called near-field thermophotovoltaic devices, where a nanoscale gap is established between the meter and the cell that enables the propagation of evanescent modes, and therefore we can increase the power density by several orders of magnitude. In the recent years, several proof-of-concept experiments have been conducted and all of them share the characteristic of being very small devices below 0.25 square millimeters. One of the scalability issues of near-field thermophotovoltaics is related to the very high current densities that are expected. For instance, in this case that we have an indium arsenide photovoltaic cell with a band gap of 0.35 electron volts and an emitter at 1000 Kelvin, we could expect between 10 and 40 amperes per square centimeter in the near field. Therefore, we need very good electrodes to collect those high amount of currents that brings very low ohmic losses. Nevertheless, in real electrodes, we will always have some ohmic losses that deteriorate the real device performance. Thermionic enhanced near field thermophotovoltaics solve this problem by establishing a thermionic emission between the meter and the photovoltaic cell. In this way, the whole front surface of the photovoltaic cell behaves as a transparent electrode that collects those electrons and injects them in the valence band of the photovoltaic cell. In this way, we have established a wireless 1D carrier collection mechanism that brings negligible ohmic losses. On top of that, we have an extra thermionic power related to the difference in the work function of the meter and the photovoltaic cell surface. As a combined effect, we can reach very high power densities that could be an order of magnitude greater than what would be expected in real near-field thermophotovoltaic devices. The very first proof of concept has been conducted in the far field at distances of over one millimeter, and therefore the challenge now is to prove this concept in the near field at distances below one micron.